Good morning everyone. My name is Jairish May Apilas and we will be presenting our research study. The reaction of Bambusa textilis vargasilis to different solutions. So, our research advisors gave us three study options to choose from and we chose the study on plant leaves. Specifically, we chose the leaves of Bambusa textilis vargasilis Considering the availability in our area, the capability of us researchers in executing a simple study and the given limited duration of time. Bambusa textilis vargasilis is locally known as Chinese bamboo. They are cultivated in cold climate regions and can tolerate to a temperature of negative 12 degrees Celsius. There has been a little to no research about the said grass species, about reactions to any kind of substance. Hence, there are a few studies about it concerning furniture, weaving, and such. The leaves were then submerged to tap water, vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, iodine solution, and we use betadine. Lastly, bleach. The leaves were submerged in household liquids that are essential to our daily lives. And the research was conducted in Edison Baguio City. So, moving on to our literature review and research gap. We cited two main studies related to our methodology. So, the first study included is published in the year 2015 and was written by Samson. He studied the effect of hydrogen peroxide and gargan, which means garlic and ginger crude extract as agents of seed perming. And their results show that garlic and ginger crude extract could speed up the germination of tomato seeds and could inhibit the adverse effect of hydrogen peroxide even in higher concentrations. The researchers only tested the effects of hydrogen peroxide and gargan extract in the germination of tomato, selenum, lycopersicum seeds and did not use the extract on other plant seeds. Last but not the least, the study that was published in 2017 by the group of Bomba. They investigated the resistance of polyurethane coatings on hardwood and softwood surfaces to different solutions. The results show that there were no proven differences in the quality of the film coatings applied to hardwood and softwood test specimens. So, since chemicals are used as test liquids, the researchers could also add more layers of polyurethane on hardwood and softwood surfaces and shorten the days to let the chemical cure. Okay, so moving on to the next slide in topic, may I call on Seya Villacorta to discuss the research objective and the following topic. I will now be presenting our research objectives and our methodology. So, this study aims to investigate the reaction of bambusa textilis or brasilis leaves to the following solutions. Tap water, vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, iodine solution, and bleach in terms of physical properties such as size, texture, and color. For our research design, as you can see above, we use the pre-test, post-test research design. This is actually because we will compare the states of the leaves before and after they were submerged in the different liquids. So we will take their initial measurements in color, size, and texture, and then we will compare that to their final states. Changes in these Physical properties will be determined using a rating system that we made. And for sampling, we use the fishbowl method. And basically, how this worked was we prepared two sets of papers, then labeled them 1 to 25. So in total, we had 50 pieces of paper. 
And then, for the first set, we took one number and assigned it to one leaf. So basically, each of the 25 leaves were assigned a number. And for the second set of papers, we put them in a bowl, and then we took five at a time. So basically, these five numbers will be in the same group. And there will be five leaves for each group. And for our data gathering procedure, as you know, we took the leaves and then we sampled them. And then we took five identical glasses and then we labeled them with the different solutions so we wouldn't be confused on which liquid was in which container. And then after that, we put on our gloves and then we took a syringe and then we placed 50 milliliters of each solution in each glass. So once we did that, we submerged five leaves in each group. We made sure that it was completely covered by the liquid and then we covered it with plastic. And then after that, we set it aside in a room, in this room actually, and it was kept away from the sun. And what we did was we checked on it every day for seven days, one week at the same time. And then we would check if there were any physical changes. On the seventh day, we took them out with tweezers dried them up with paper towels, and then we place them in a sheet of paper so they can be individually examined. And from there, we measured it, and then we started our data analysis. And for the data analysis, we used the paired sample t-test, actually, and average data were recorded for each group. For our results and discussions, I will now be calling on Kisha Peel. She will discuss our tables, and this will also include our recommendations for future researchers who would like to reference our Ms. research. I will now discuss the results in discussion of our study. Table 4 shows the overall average data collected for the changes in the Bambusa textilis vargasilis leaves. As you can see, all the solutions had a significant effect on the Bambusa textilis vargasilis leaves in terms of color, size, and texture. Bleach has the most significant difference comparing the before and after characteristics of the leaves that were submerged in bleach. As leaves need water to survive, water preserved the leaves in the submersion period. On table 10, it shows the p-value of the different solutions. The p-value of top water is 0 0.211, vinegar is 0 0.073, hydrogen peroxide is 0 0.074, povidone iodine is 0 0.070, and lastly, bleach is 0 0.168. The p-value of all the solutions is higher than the alpha level which is equal to 0 0.05. To conclude, the study shall reject the null hypothesis and retain the alternative hypothesis since statistical analysis showed a significant difference between the initial and final state of the Bambusa textilis vargasilis leaves in terms of size, color, and texture. Let's move on to the recommendations of our study. For future researchers, we recommend the following. The researchers recommend using different plants, since only one species of plants was tested, which was the Bambusa textilis vargasilis. The reaction of other plants to the different solutions would be different due to a lot of factors. The researchers also recommend changing the duration of the submersion of the leaves, as this may affect the results as well as and the amount of solution that will be used to submerge the leaves. I hope future researchers will use our research. And these are the references that we cited in our study. That is the end of our presentation. 
Thank you for listening.